Mountain region use the many trails here for staying in shape. One man uses them to train for some of the world's most inhospitable environments. His name is Ray Zahab. He tells his story next. I have already come to terms with the fact that it's going to be incredibly difficult physically, uh, mentally, it's a huge challenge. But the emotional aspect of any expedition, being away from the people that I love, is the most difficult part. My name is Ray Zahab and I'm an adventurer. I've been in 60 countries, I think, on expeditions across all the large deserts. I passed out at one point on the Namib expedition. There's days when you think you're never going to get it done, but we do. I don't overthink. I'm not out there in 50 degree heat, dehydrated, thinking, oh my God, how am I going to get through this day? I'm thinking about the moment that I'm in, how the sand feels underneath my feet. There's no easy in an expedition. The beginning has its own set of challenges and so does the end. I keep myself going when I'm on expedition, thinking about life at home, living every day at home one step at a time. In retrospect, when I look back and I say this, I was sick of living the life that I was living and the things that I was doing to myself that were obviously making me un unhappy. I was drinking all the time, smoking a pack a day. It was sort of an aha moment when I looked at my younger brother who had gone through a life transformation of his own and became this outdoor athlete. And it gave him health and it gave him strength. He was teaching me amazing things, but I still wasn't fully embracing change. I couldn't let go of what was the hardest thing in the world for me to do, which was quit smoking. There's people that'll say, big deal, I quit smoking in a day, and I'm like, that's awesome. But for me, it took me three years, like it was so hard to do. I followed my brother into the outdoors, and I was like, if this doesn't work, well, maybe something else will happen. But I, even then, I wasn't that much of an optimist. Through the things that my brother was teaching me, I completely quit the smoking. I do my very first running race, which is a 100 miler, and I win it. That sort of planted the seeds of confidence and a shift in who I saw and how I saw myself. But running, I always say it's my greatest teacher. It's taken me to the next level. Running taught me to apply and try these different things. And then, of course, with running, approving and changing, so did my life. I love the Canadian Arctic. I love the look of it. It's just an extraordinary place in all seasons. And the fact that it's Canada, makes it that much more amazing. Very cold. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> a little bit frosty. But look at beautiful look at day today. Well, when I wake up first thing in the morning on an Arctic expedition and unzip the tent and look outside and it's 50 below, I first of all compel myself to look around at where I am. And I ask myself the question, is there anywhere else you'd rather be? We have no limits to what we're capable of achieving. Human beings have no limits and every person on this planet is capable of their own version of extraordinary in their lives. You've got one kick at the can, one chance to do something in your life. It doesn't have to be running across the Sahara Desert. It can be anything. But finding that passion and that happiness in your life, that's the trick.